first scare the heck out of me about bird flu and then tell me why I shouldn't be all that scared actually. Okay, I'm gonna reverse that. Okay. I'm gonna say, <laughs> first, the risk to the general population for bird flu is low. Um, this is not a virus that has, we have any evidence that spreads between people. The testing programs that are happening, they're, they're testing milk from dairy farms and they're also testing hospitalized flu patients to say, you know, what type of virus do you have? Is it just the, you know, the, the human flu or, or is there any um, avian flu floating around in there? And, and I guess the, the reason for that is Dr. Levine um, was speaking with lawmakers earlier this week and, and sort of painted the scenario of, of what, what they're really concerned about. What he's really concerned about is someone who has the flu, the you know, human flu, um, getting, picking up avian flu, um, H5N1, and those two viruses mutating and exchanging genetic information such that the avian flu would then pick up a mutation where it could more easily transmit between people. Um, right now, it doesn't really like the cells that line our, our airways, um, epithelial cells, but it could, um, you know, the concern is that it would mutate, pick up a pick up a mutation where it could then spread between people. But that, that has not happened and it may never happen.